Hello, my name is Keyshawn Patel, and this is my 15-112 term project at Carnegie Mellon University. For my term project, I created a multiple choice test grader using image recognition. On screen, we can see we have two choices, scan tests and grade tests. Let's start by clicking grade tests. As you can see, a webcam pops up and asks the, you to take a picture of the answer sheet. So here I have the answer sheet that contains the answers to the test. So as long as we make sure that the box containing the multiple choice questions is on screen, we press spacebar to take a picture. After taking a picture, the picture we just take shows up on screen, and we have the option of pressing spacebar to grade the next test, or pressing R if we wish to retake. So let's space, press spacebar to start grading. So this is an example of one of the tests. So same process, press spacebar when ready. And now we have another option of pressing X if we're done grading. So let's press spacebar to grade one more test. As you can see, this test, the border was cut off a little bit, so it's best if we retake the picture by pressing R. We press X now that we're done grading, and the results should pop up. Up top, you can see the results in the form of fraction and percent form. All the answers highlighted in green represent the correct answers to the test, while the red answers represent the incorrect answers the student inputted. On the right, we can also see for each question if it was in marked incorrect or if the student actually omitted it and we can see a final grade represented right here. And this was the result for the second test. So now let's look at scan tests. The purpose of this is to take a picture of the actual, res actual responses of the students and to store it as a file for future reference. So let's click scan tests. And the difference here is now that we take a picture of the entire page instead of just the box. So we take a picture and we can see that how it zooms up on the test itself. So we press spacebar to save the image and we'll save it as David's response. We press OK and then now the file is saved. Thank you for watching.